hello friends this is another question and this is just a for loop okay i can give you a hint this is not a compile time error okay so i'll count till five pause the video and try to understand this one two three four five i think you would have come up with the answers or the questions let's go and compile this we compiled it successfully i told you there is no compilation error okay now we will run this enter and what is this if i is equal to 5 so i will give 5 as input enter so the answer is 5 4 3 2 1 so this is the answer and if you know how it is functioning move to the next video otherwise stick to this video i give 5 here now 5 was written something like this and as it is non-zero value we will go inside loop and there is no body because I have given this semicolon here. It means this is a single statement. It will execute itself again. Okay. So this time it will go here. I told you once loop is done, it comes to third position. So this time it will come here and it will try to print whatever the value of i is and i will get simultaneously decremented. Now this time as i was written here, now this time as i was decremented, I will get 4 here 4 is also a true value you will again go and print 4 and i will get decremented by 1 so this time it 3 will come again 3 is a non-zero value it will go get printed and it will become 2 now so like that it will print up to 1 one time this will get 1 it will go here it will get decremented by 1 which means i will become 0 but before getting 0 as it is post increment it will print that so 1 will get printed here and then 0 will come here okay because i has changed it so 0 will come here now you are going to terminate that that's why this loop is going from 5 to 1 not 5 to 0 okay so let's look at the next question now and yeah please if you have any doubt comment out